everyone welcome back to another vlog i was not expecting to start this vlog in my car but here we are and it's also very very hot and so my intro is going to be like a little short because i can't sit in my un idling car for very long in the texas heat it is definitely spring the weather is convincing me of that but i don't know why i'm talking about the weather i just went to the library y'all just saw some clips of me drawing for a new sticker sheet in my shop i wanted to do like a k-pop one because i wanted to do my april theme around k-pop but i didn't feel like drawing physically so i was like what if i just make a sticker sheet and then use my own sticker sheet so that'll be up in my shop eventually i'm not sure when exactly hopefully soon and my shop is linked below in case you want to check it out there's my advertisement for the day anyways i just went to the library like you saw and i actually picked up quite a stack of books um a little bit many more a little bit many more a little bit more than i had initially anticipated so the reason why i went is because i really needed to pick up emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies because this is the april patreon book over on over on my patreon over on chaos x cast our little patreon book club and i really like this copy it's like a really nice texture which is a weird thing to say, but I'm very, very excited to pick up this book. I want to learn all about the fairies. <laughs> and then two that I kind of stumbled across because of their artwork. I thought it was a manga in a normal novel section. So I was like, that looks out of place. And then I looked at the artwork and it's just giving video game like Final Fantasy slash, I don't know. It looked medieval and anime. And I'm like, yes, that is my jam. Uh, it does actually start with a uh, manga panel in the very, very back of the book, and then it proceeds on to being an actual novel. It's called The Alchemist Who Survived Now Dreams of a Quiet City Life, and I got the first and the second volumes. I know nothing about it other than I really, really liked the covers. <gasps> Someone pulled beside me. Ah! Apologies if there's a slight angle change. I cannot stand the thought of someone watching me speak to myself in my own car. But then the other two that I got are Ruby After the Fall and Before the Dawn, books one and two. I am currently watching Ruby with my best friend. We like binged through season one very quickly and season two. I think we're on to season three now. I have watched up to season maybe like six or seven before I stopped watching it a couple years back. And now I'm like, hey, bestie do you want to watch the show with me and she was like yes absolutely so we've been facetiming and watching it together and then when she came and visited me uh last week we had watched some more and my sister i believe has read these books and said they weren't too bad so i wanted to actually like pick them up myself and the person is back so that is my intro i'm like slightly uncomfortable because they definitely saw me talking to myself and how they're pulling out so we're just gonna pretend like we're looking at my watch that i don't have on there they go. Okay, that was fun for everyone involved, I'm sure. I'm like sweating to death right now. I hope you cannot see the sweat all over my face. So I'm gonna start my car and talk to y'all when I get home. I'm like glistening. It's, it's horrible. I need my AC. Ah! So much better. All right, <laughs> I'll see you at home. My bangs look wild. <sighs> okay, the AC feels so nice. I literally love Texas weather so much, but hello, welcome back to a new reading vlog. I'm pretty sure I already said that, but it was a little chaotic, but if you're here, you're here for the chaos. I wanted to talk briefly about my little TBR for this week. So I have The Final Empire by Brayden Sanderson. This is book one of the Mistborn trilogy. I am 212 pages in, so a decent chunk of the way in. Just made it past part one, so it's been a very, very fun time. I'm really, really enjoying it. And then the other book that I have is Orange Future, which is a short manga. This is set after the six books of manga and it's about the characters in the future obviously by the title and that is literally it for my tbr for this month or uh, this month this week i might pick up some of the books that i picked up from the library depending on my mood but something that i'm really really working hard to do is slow down and stop stressing so much which is like a little silly because a lot of the things that i do and that i'm stressed out about are products of my own creation making youtube videos and running my etsy and running my patreon and running the book club and just doing everything that i do in my life if i'm stressed about any of it a lot of it i can just stop doing but obviously like i don't want to do that and i realized that i do have to prioritize because i was prioritizing the wrong thing which was youtube because as much as much as i love 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 youtube 
it is not bringing in the income that like my Etsy is. So I wanted to focus more on my Etsy and on my website and my shop. I say Etsy as if like I don't actually have a website and I'm running my own shop as well, but I do have both. I wanted to focus more on art because I was sat doing my bullet journal and I realized that I haven't really spent time doing art because I've been busy editing YouTube videos or reading books for YouTube videos or just doing all sorts of things that aren't art. And art has always been a very big part of my life and I wanted to reclaim that passion and that hobby. So I bought a sketchbook and some new Pigma Microns and I'm actually going to go and sit out in the living room here in a little bit and just draw a map, which I haven't done because typically when I have drawn my maps, I've done it in my bullet journal and it's for like a cover page but the only map I've done outside of my bullet journal was a gift map for a friend and that was from the Aragon series and a commission that I've done. Every other map I've drawn has been in my bullet journal so I bought a big sketchbook and I can't wait to try my hand at designing some bigger prints and some original pieces. I've been watching a lot of studio vlogs and art vlogs and I've just gotten really really inspired to focus more on my business. Yesterday I redesigned my website and redesigned my logo and archived all my old posts on my Instagram and I just kind of want to start fresh and I don't know how many times I will start fresh with my business because I had a <laughs> I had a launch and then I had a rebrand and then I'm on another rebrand and I just love how I can change it because it's my own business. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm what else I'm trying to say, but I do have some reading plans, but the first half of this vlog might be more like studio vlog-esque. This is not always going to be the case. I just wanted to do more art and I always love sharing my art with y'all so I was just gonna film a little bit and kind of see where my mood takes me. I just want to draw when I'm in the mood and I'm kind of in the mood right now so let's let's go and set up in my living room. viral on TikTok doing it and then I had like 10 people send me and they're like, oh, look at this and I'm like, I've seen it. <laughs> I know. I've seen people do it with beans too. Like, it's kind of cool. I think. No, about an hour drawing which was so lovely i've been watching apple cheeks on youtube a bunch because her vlogs are just so nice and i wish i could emulate the calm vibes that she gives off but chaos it's my brand i'm really really happy with the progress that i've made and yeah i mean <laughs> an hour of work i think it's a decent amount of progress also i just freaking love using new pens. It's so good. The serotonin it gives me is like ridiculous. So I'm very happy that I bought a new sketchbook and I just want to fill it full of maps and compasses and all sorts of goodies. I'm just really, really, really excited to have this hobby come back. I have no plan when it comes to this drawing. I'm literally just winging it to the fullest extent. I don't know if I'm gonna like add any town names. I was like drawing mountains and I was like, 
shit, maybe I should name the mountains. That would be a thing. Zamia is what I came up with. Well, actually a random name generator came up with it and I was just like, yes, stunning. I love it, but I'm a little tired. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm scared to take a nap because yesterday I took a three and a half hour nap. The laundry, why every time I'm in here, the laundry goes off. Oh my God, it's a fucking symphony. I'm gonna have an aneurysm, Addie. <laughs> the fucking washer and dryer going off at the same time. Why is it so freaking long? Riddle me this. <laughs> it just kept going. It's so dramatic. It just kept going and then the dryer freaking started going off at the same time as the washer was still going. And I was like, no. Do you wanna see how this turned out so far? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, I started drawing and then I was like, cause I have like this random sketch that I did on like my server notes. <laughs> um, I was like mountains, we start with mountains. I got nothing else past mountains. Now what? <laughs> yeah. It was about an hour, so I'm like, I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> good for today. It's cool. But it's the biggest map I've drawn so far. I was gonna say it's ooh. Yeah, so ooh. large people. I like it. Oh, thank you, thank you. So kind of in bed a little earlier than I typically am. However, I have the worst headache and I've had a headache all day today. And I just took some Tylenol because I forgot that that existed. So I'm hoping that it will ease my pain <laughs> if I can go to bed. But I had such, such a good day. I drew for like six hours total today and I haven't sat and drawn longer than maybe like an hour or something at a time and so just being able to do like different creative things and draw it, it was just like it was so good it made me so so happy i literally started my map i finished designing an entire sticker sheet i also started an art print that isn't a map it's it's stray kids related and i can't wait to show you all what it looks like because i'm very very proud of how it's looking right now. It's so funny how one thing can like create almost like a domino ripple effect because I remember I just randomly clicked on an Apple Cheeks video and I have been just having her vlogs playing in the background and seeing her be so creative and grow her business and pack orders and such. It's just so, so inspiring to me. And I haven't had that happen in terms of art in a very long time. And it's just, it's 
it's been so good it's brought me so much joy and so much peace and happiness and yeah I drove for like six hours total today it was insane however I do have a massive headache but I wanted to just like calm down do a little bit of reading since this is a reading vlog and originally I was gonna pick up Warbreaker nope Mistborn the final empire um However, I will say it's not dense per se, but for headache casts, it's a little dense right now. So I decided that I'm actually going to pick up Orange Future, and I'm really hoping this doesn't make me cry. I don't remember if this is going to make me cry or not, but I'm hoping it does not, and it's just like a fun, cute little read. I also have some books over to the side that I got from the library that I hauled earlier, and if I finish this and I still don't feel like going to bed, then... I will pick up one of those maybe. I haven't been to jiu-jitsu in over a week and I don't know if I'm gonna go tomorrow or not because I don't want to get sick and my roommate I believe had a cold and she just recovered from that and she said her cold started with a very bad headache. So you can see my worry and my fear because I really don't feel like getting sick. I took like a three and a half hour nap yesterday, a two and a half hour nap today. I've just been exhausted and I haven't changed anything except for I haven't worked out in the past week, but I don't think that that should affect me that much. So hopefully it's not sickness and hopefully tomorrow morning I will wake up feeling energized and ready to go and exist and not die. But I've just, this headache is getting to me. I'm going to just read and I'll update you when I finish, let you know if I cry or not. Ichigo Takano just knows how to make me cry, so we'll see. Today is... Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. I don't know why I can never remember the day of the week it is the second I hit the record button, but hello. I did some editing this morning for YouTube. I'm editing my vlog from last week. I'm trying to pare down the concert clips because there was like two and a half hours of footage and I was like I'm not gonna keep two and a half hours of footage in and I pared it down to about 40 minutes and then I cut it down I think to 25 and I'm gonna do another watch through and see if there's anything else I want to cut but there was just so much footage I had to sift through and then I also spent some time this morning drawing and working on the art print that I could just show you hold on okay <laughs> I'm back <laughs> this is what it's looking like right now it's a fun little quote that uh Felix and Chan had said from Stray Kids. I had a lot of fun drawing this and I'm kind of to the tedious point where I'm dealing with all the lettering. That took a little while because I was trying to get like the spacing right where I liked it. I have a few other like art print ideas. I really want to add more in my shop and another goal of mine is to also be able to add larger prints to my shop. That's something that I want to work towards and I'm just feeling so so inspired and it's making me very happy. I still don't feel 100% and I don't really want to leave my house but I also don't want to be at home right now cooped up in my room or living room. I'm feeling like not stagnant because I'm feeling inspired but I just don't want to be in my own space right now. I was gonna go to the full cup but I don't want to interact with people either. I'm having one of those days so I think I'm actually going to head to the library because when I was drawing there yesterday, I really liked the vibes. So I'm going to just pack up and head over to the library to do some drawing and maybe a little bit of reading. I did actually have a reading update, almost forgot, and that is that I finished Orange Future last night. And this was a very interesting book because it, we actually follow a different character's perspective. So in this book, we get to follow Suwa, and he is literally one of my favorite characters. And so getting to see his thoughts and his feelings, it hurt, didn't make me cry. There's only one point and it almost made me cry. But I just love seeing his perspective and it's just so interesting how you can perceive things differently versus what perspective you're following. In the first two volumes, we're primarily following Naho and her perspective on everything. And so being able to see Suwa's perspective was just so, so lovely. And yeah, I just really, really enjoyed it. I five-starred it. And now I'm done with my orange reread. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself. I am debating bringing The Final Empire with me to the library just in case I get in a reading mood. I might also find the audiobook because I don't want to not read in this vlog, but I also am doing a lot of art. So I think if I find the audiobook, I can multitask, which is always ideal. So let me pack up and we'll get going.
home. I had a good day drawing at the library. I finished designing that art print that I had shown you the progress of, and I'm giving my cat Smokey attention. Not my cat. I wish it was my cat. Smokey is such an angel. Y'all, he's purring so loudly. Oh, baby. Hi. I want a cat, but like I don't want a cat, but like I want a cat, you know? The constant debate. <laughs> I had a good day of drawing. I started drawing the A Court of Thorns and Roses map. I wanted to sell it in a bigger print and in my style. So I started that project and, you know, God forbid I stick with one project at a time because that would be a, that would be a smart thing to do. I was going to read a little bit before I left the library, but I decided that I did not feel like doing that. So I did not. So I'm home. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm in the workout room of my parents' barn because one, I wanted to see the cat and two, my neck has been hurting. So I need to like massage my neck and they have like uh, foam rollers and like a peanut roller thing that I'm going to use. So that's why I'm out here, but I am getting distracted by our cat. Yeah, this is kind of a funny update because I literally just wanted to show how cute my cat is, but not my cat. Purring so loudly. Yeah, I'll update you when I decide what I want to do, but I'm just taking things slow, resetting, refocusing, you know. It's kind of the theme of this vlog is just relaxing and taking it easy. <laughs> I'm gonna play with my cat for a little bit, but not my cat. And I'll update y'all later. When maybe I'll read, maybe there'll be a reading update somewhere in this vlog. <laughs> Can you keep for the camera? Oh, no, no, no. That's the strings to my, one of my favorite hoodies. Why must you do this to me? You're being cute and then you attack me? And then you attack me, huh? Don't show your booty hole on the internet. <laughs> Look how pretty he is. I love him so much. Please pardon my appearance. I am in fact sick. Yay. I woke up this morning with a fever and my entire body just aches and hurts so bad. So that's super fun. But I do have a fun little update. I spent like an hour and 45 minutes last night reading before I went to bed. And then this morning I woke up, went back to bed, woke up and then read for an hour. And so I made it all the way to page 496. I'm in the middle of part four four which might be the last part i think there's only four parts in this book but 496 out of 650 ish so i'm still really enjoying it i really like vin's like alter ego almost when she goes undercover i don't want to like give anything away too much but we're really in the thick of it to where there's like a lot of potential spoilers of things that I can't really discuss in detail, but I just really, really love the entire crew that Kelsier, I'm gonna go with Kelsier, Kelsier. I really like the entire crew and their dynamic and the way things are playing out is very satisfying because things aren't just going as expected or as to their plan, which is always super exciting because I figured their plan wouldn't be executed 100%, the ways in which their plans are being kind of fought against is different than the way I thought things would go. As always, Brandon Sanderson's right. I say as always, as if this isn't only like the second book I've read by him, but his writing is unpredictable in my opinion. There's only been one case of, this is about to happen, I'm sure of it. And then I turn the page and it did in fact happen. I'm like, wow, look at me predicting things a page before they happen. But I am taking a little bit of a break. I think I'm going to go and work on my map a little bit more. I don't think I'll record any just because I have so much drawing footage already in this vlog. I also need to edit a bit. But I just feel like poop, which is unfortunate because I have work today. But I don't know. I, I told my manager I had a fever, but I don't know if she will be rationed with today or not. Depends on her mood of whether or not... She'll be like, okay, that's fine, don't come in, or that sucks, still come in. She probably won't make me come in since I said I have a fever, and like you have to be fever free for 24 hours, which is what she said last time I had a fever, but I've just been sick a lot recently, 
and I feel bad because I really like there's one thing in the world I hate doing it's calling into work even when I'm genuinely sick which is like the only time I ever typically call into work so it's just so fun <laughs> it just adds on to my stress and anxiety of like all right am I gonna have to fight my manager I will say something that I read last night was very very depressing not in terms of this book but someone had mentioned in one of my discord servers that book depository was closing and I'm like why are you spreading this false information and then I saw that it was in fact true which is super depressing because like where else am I supposed to get my Rangers Apprentice books a year before they release in the US apparently Blackwell's offers free worldwide shipping so if you were an avid user of book depository uh, Blackwell's apparently is a good place to go. I know a lot of people from different countries are very frustrated because books are already expensive on top of shipping costs and they can't afford Amazon's shipping costs in other countries and it's just very frustrating to see. That is my little update and rant over. I'm gonna take a break and then I'll update you when I read more of The Final Empire. Coming at you with the funky fun fresh angles. It is Thursday and I thought I had work Turns out that I wasn't put on the schedule for today, which is so lovely because I still feel like absolute shit. I hate body aches so, so much. But last night I actually didn't do any reading. I spent a lot of time, like three hours, redoing my notion, or not necessarily redoing my notion, but like, why are you so loud? More like upgrading certain databases and the aesthetic and it was a whole thing. I'll show it eventually. I was thinking about doing like a little video on it. I haven't decided if I want to do that or not, but it is a something potentially in the future. But I have sat and read The Final Empire for the past half hour and I actually plan on sitting here and finishing it because I don't have work. So I now have time. I'm on page 550 and I am obsessed with the direction the plot is going. Just Brandon Sanderson never does things that I expect ever. They killed a character that I was not expecting them to kill. And I just love how it not only affected like the group dynamic, but also their original plans and how they have to keep changing it. And Kelsier just going off and just, I love him. Like I hate him sort of, but I also love him because he just feels so powerful. And I'm like, literally how? He is a madman and I love him for that. Also, we, well, I feel like I never really talked about his character, Elend. I think I might've briefly talked about it. What is his name? Is it Elend? Elend. I haven't really talked about him in a while, it feels like, but his main, I don't wanna say main arc, cause I don't know if it's the main arc, but his interactions with Vin are mostly over right now. And I'm really curious to see how that's gonna go because the political situation of all these houses is so, so good. And I love the tension. I love the drama. I loved all the balls that they went to and just the spewing of the gossip. It's just so fun. And certain events have transpired around Ellen and he's just in a really precarious situation right now. And I'm not sure which way Brandon Sanderson is going to go with this plot, but I'm very, very excited to find out. But I'm also very excited to finish this. Let me do that and then I'll probably update you when I finish. I'm listening to rain on Japanese Zen garden at night and it's literally just rain noises. And it's just been so lovely. I think I might go to the library later. I have two books that I'm actually going to pick up, um, The Wisteria Society and Well Met. I have those to pick up and I might do a little bit more drawing today. So this is very art and reading vlog. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it. Please let me know if you are enjoying seeing more art because I kind of want to show more art in my vlogs just because I plan on doing a lot more art to be able to sell more art prints on my shop and work on my shop and focus on that a lot more. So let me know what y'all want to see, what you don't want to see. Yeah, but I will update you once I finish this book. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to pick up the second book next, especially since this Saturday we have reading sprints. So I'm so excited. Y'all, <laughs> I just finished part four. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. What just happened? What What just happened? What just happened? Okay, 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 it's fine. It's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Everything is not fine, actually. <laughs> mm, yeah, they're fucked. 
Um, okay, anyways. What? A masterpiece of a book, okay? This book went in no direction that I thought it would go in, which I've been saying the entire time, but literally up until the very last page, everything was just shocking me. It was done so, so well. Five out of five. <laughs> I'm literally obsessed. Something really neat about Brandon Sanderson's writing, I think is just how simple his writing is and I can appreciate it for what it is. Comparing it to the other high fantasy series that I've read, in particular, The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss, I think a lot of people struggle to get into high fantasy reading books like The Name of the Wind because there are just so much flowery writing and the prose are so beautiful. But Brandon Sanderson's writing is very simple and easy to digest and his strong point is plot and characters. I don't think he has to rely on any flowery or impressive writing almost to write a good story. I don't think that's necessarily a necessity to make a book good or great. I thought the simplicity of his writing was very refreshing and easy to get into and easy to dive into and that was just spectacular to experience. I loved all of the characters. I loved Vin so much. She's such a badass being able to adapt to her circumstances and stand up for things that she believes in. She's just such a badass. Like, and I have a thing for characters that are similar to assassins. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Yes. I also loved the romance in this book and how not prevalent it was. I think there's one point when I rolled my eyes and I was like, no, literally no. But then looking back at the characters, I was like, okay, that kind of makes sense. They are both young. Sure, I'll believe it. And I'm interested to see what they do with that plot line. So it wasn't my favorite, but I like what they did with it. I think it could have been worse, but it could have been better. But I, I'm satisfied regardless. If you're looking to get into high fantasy, I think Brandon Sanderson is a great place to start, especially this series, because the magic system's not too complicated. Essentially, there are a bunch of different metals in each metal that the characters ingest give them a certain power depending on whether or not they are misborn or not. So the misborn can control all of the metals while most alimensers, which is what the people that use the magic are called, or magic, um, the metals. Most people that have the ability to use the metals and such can only use one metal. One metal can make you see into the future. One metal can have you freaking <laughs> Star Wars that shit and like use the force essentially. <laughs> or that's what I had imagined. It's a very, very fascinating magic system and I don't think it's too complex. So yeah, if you're looking to get into high fantasy and you want something not too overwhelming, this book is phenomenal, especially the plot and the characters. I just love their crew so much and I love where the plot went because the entire time I was reading, I was like, what is going to happen? What is that? Why did that? That's happening now? What is going on? And it was so good. And the best thing too about this book is with the characters that got killed off, it was never for shock value there was definitely meaning and reason and strategy behind each character that, you know, got got. Because I hate when books depend on killing characters as shock value. <clears throat> Chain of thorns can go jump off a bridge. But Brandon Sanderson didn't need to depend on killing characters for shock value. There were so many other plot points that were so good for shock value. Yeah, that is my little review on The Final Empire. I really, really, really enjoyed it and I'm probably going to start the second book very soon. I don't know what I wanna do. I haven't decided. I should start packing because that is something that is coming up real quick is the moving process. I am so stressed about that, but we're not talking about that. I will just update you whenever I decide what the heck I wanna do because I have not a clue what I wanna do. I think I just might sit here and think about what I wanna do. Hello. Today is a new day. I'm not gonna say what day, but let's just say I have not vlogged for a couple of days because I got sick again, but also just never got better. I would have little like spurts of energy and then feel like shit for a long period of time. And then I had work and it was just a mess. But today is a new day. And I just wanted to update what I did yesterday, which was read for six hours. So, Let's talk about that. <laughs> I believe I read about 100 pages-ish during the reading sprint. So we read for about an hour 
And then after I stayed and read for an hour and a half, and then after work, I sat and read for like three hours. And um, yeah, I'm on page 630. I, a lot has happened. This is the second book, by the way. This is The Well of Ascension. I forgot to mention that I did start The Well of Ascension and I have only 100 pages left. Yeah, I read that all in one day, which is insane. I literally spent my day doing nothing but reading. I read and then I went to work and then I came home and read. So that is how I accomplished this feat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I will say this book is a little bit slower in terms of things happening, which is only semi annoying because I'm still here for the characters and just them vibing sometimes. But with the final empire, you had Kelsier's plan and this was his plan and these were all the things that needed to happen. And then they would slowly happen, things would go wrong, they would come up with new plans. This, there hasn't really been much concrete planning because they don't know what they're doing now. But not in necessarily a bad way, but in a, this was inevitable, they have to kind of figure their shit out kind of way. There was a traitor within their midst that a big chunk of this book, I was just like, who? Who is it? And I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't figure it out. And when it was revealed, let me tell you what I gasped so freaking loud. I was like, no, that is so, so good. We have a new character that has been introduced. I mean, not 630 pages in, but like towards the beginning, his name is Zane. And his character is very, very fascinating. I quite enjoy his character. I don't know exactly where it's leading to, but his character is interesting. The relationship, the relationship has been going places. It's stressing me out. I'm like, y'all have some communication. I will say there is perspectives in this book that I don't necessarily enjoy as much as I did in the first one, Sazed being one of them or Sazed, whatever his name is. A lot of his chapters are a little boring or I'm just confused because he's studying history right now with a colleague and like I said, history and fantasy books, my mind just, it's like old TV static. Like there's nothing going on up there when I'm reading history and fantasy books, okay? Nothing going on. Yeah, I have 100 pages left. However, I'm actually going to sit and draw. I have my sketchbook here and then I will probably, hopefully do a little bit more reading and then I'll wrap up the vlog. So the vlog's gonna end today. But the last time I said that, it didn't end for another two days. So the vlog hopefully will end today, but maybe you'll see me in a completely different set of clothes on a completely new day. If this is not what your sleep paralysis demon looks like, you're lying. You know what, I was gonna try to make this look good, but quite frankly, this vlog needs to end and I'm too busy trying to recover from the masterpiece that this book was. I, I was gasping so much. So much kept being revealed. Nothing ended how it, I thought it would, but events transpired that I thought would. Basically, Brandon Sanderson just has no mercy, not an ounce of mercy in his soul. And it just destroyed me a little bit. I enjoy this experience 100%. You know who didn't enjoy this experience? Katie, because as I was reading, she's about to pick up The Hero of Ages and I was flipping my shit. And she's like, no, shut up, don't tell me. And I'm like, I'm not gonna tell you just know that shit goes down, which is what I've been saying throughout this entire series, but this book was just on a different level. The ending, like bad shit happened and there were like 50 pages left. I'm like, okay, they're fucked. And then I was like, no, they're fine. And then I was like, no, they're fucked. And just, but let's, let's just interview Katie really quick to ask her whether or not she enjoyed the experience of me reading. Katie, do you want to say hello to the vlog? Oh my God, like, yeah. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all having a stunning day, night, afternoon, evening, whatever you're watching this. We had, um, we collectively, as in me, have a question for you. Oh no, what? Did you enjoy me reading no. The Hero of Ages on the call? Every time I looked over, she was just like having some reaction. And I was like, I'm like just about to start Hero of Ages. So like seeing all of this makes me nervous and scared. And yeah, those are the two of my <laughs> Just nervous and scared. <laughs> nervous and scared. As you should be, quite frankly. No more words. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to mute me. I did give this book five stars. I love just all the little 
little sprinkles, little sprinkles of information that kind of came full circle. Something that was mentioned in book one that you never think is that important, and it's so briefly discussed, but then it like is mentioned multiple times throughout the series to where you should realize that this tiny little thing should be an important fact. You don't realize is important until it's straight up told to you or I'm just stupid, but this is definitely a very tiny, tiny itty bitty detail. So good. I definitely, 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 definitely recommend the Mistborn series. I cannot wait to pick up Stormlight. I'm also low-key tempted to read the second generation. What is it called? Is it second generation? Second wave? What's the... I think they're kind of broken out into eras. Eras. Thank you. She's my Google for today. Um, like the second era. So there's books one through three, and then apparently there's books four through six, but they follow completely different characters. And I guess it's a completely different time, like years and years and years down the line. But I'm curious to see what goes down in that. And I might actually give that a read shortly after this. I haven't decided yet. I'll see if, oh, I was gonna say I'll see if my library has it, but they're definitely closed for two weeks for remodeling, which is something I've been really, really depressed about because I just had gotten very attached to going to the library, specifically in this vlog, and then they literally shut down for two weeks starting yesterday, so that was tragic. This is like the best lighting possible that I could have ever done to wrap up this vlog, but to review this vlog and the many things that I have read, um, not that many things, but I finished Orange Future, gave that five stars, that was a reread. Remember how I said this vlog was gonna be like a really slow and chill and not that much reading and then I like binge this entire series? Yep, remember that? So the first book, which is The Final Empire, I ended up giving five stars. I love looking back on how just low stakes this book felt to the rest of the series. It was so high stakes when you're in the moment, but shit just got worse. And I was living for every moment, but very stressed. The Wall of Ascension I gave 4.5 just because it did drag. All the elements now that I read the finale were crucial to the story. Perspectives that I was like, why are we getting this perspective? became relevant finally in the end and it all made sense. So I love to reread this book and piece together everything as I go versus just being bored for certain character perspectives or certain like hints that were being dropped but you didn't realize that there were hints at the time because Brandon Sanderson is just such a genius when it comes to writing fantasy novels. And then The Hero of Ages I did give five stars because that was phenomenal. The ending, I couldn't imagine what he was gonna do with the ending but perfection, quite frankly. I loved every single second of this and I can't believe it's over. It's over, y'all. This masterpiece of a series is over. The new question becomes, will I be put in a very, very bad reading slump? Quite possibly. I'm not sure what I wanna pick up next, but I do know I either need to jump right into a high fantasy book or I need to read a book that's just like easy and fun because I'm gonna get the worst book hangover. I can feel it incoming already, but thank you so much for sticking out and watching this whole video. I hope you enjoyed my very off kiltered reactions to the Mistborn series. Again, I highly, highly recommend picking it up for yourselves. Seriously, I didn't realize what I was missing out on, but catch me about to read so many Brandon Sanderson books and high fantasy books from more well-known authors that I've just been sleeping on because I've been picking up so much YA. Thank you so, so much to my lovely Patreons over on KSX Cast. It's our book club where we have a monthly buddy read, some behind the scenes content, and just some fun shenanigans on our Discord as well. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and thank you all of you for watching and I really do hope to see you in the next one. Toodles! Should we invite Katie to Toodles as well? Oh, I do want a Toodles, oh my god. Whenever you're ready, the stage is yours. All right, Toodles! <laughs> Wait, did I do it on my own? You did great. <laughs>